So tell us what it means for you all to be here today leading the way. Uh, we're, we're very excited. Um, I was just saying earlier that we've, we had our first uh, vaccination in, in Queensland, I think three or four weeks ago now, so we just got our second dose then and um, it's been good to get all the boys together and get it done in one hit, so we're very excited to be vaccinated. As um, role models for especially a lot of sports fans, a lot of kids too though, and with a lot of misinformation going around about COVID, about vaccines, what would be your message to people? Do you feel safer having had your second jab today? Oh, I feel like it's, you know, as a, as a Wallaby, we're doing our bit to, to make the community safer and I think um, for us to move forward as a country and as a world, we, you know, vaccination is the key um, to an open life and, and life as we used to, used to have it. So for us, we're just doing our bit and we just want to make sure that it's, it's, the message is clear and safe that you know, to get vaccinated is, is OK. A lot of people get the impression that you know, um, sports are still rolling on, you know, these big events are still happening, the All Blacks hopefully are still coming to yeah. Perth, the AFL finals going ahead and things, but it's been pretty different for you guys as well, hasn't it? Having to go from bubble to bubble, how tricky has that been? Oh, it's been tricky. Um, you know, there's a lot of players from Sydney who haven't seen their families for probably three months now, um, and that's probably not going to change for the rest of the year. Um, so it's, it's obviously difficult, and there's a couple of players here who are expecting babies, and other players who have kids already, and they haven't just haven't been able to see them for months. So it's been very, very hard. Um, but we are definitely, um, you know, we're in a position that we're still being able to work, and so we're forever grateful for, for what we do and being allowed to do what we do and, and try and bring a bit of happiness to, you know, the, uh, the community. Are you looking forward to being able to put on a show in front of the crowd at Stadium? Well, that, that's the exciting bit about coming to Perth, and that's why we're so desperate to get a game here, is there's a really good rugby community, and they just love rugby here, and, and as players, we love coming here and playing. We've obviously got a pretty good record here in Perth, and we enjoy playing rugby here, and, um, yeah, to get a game next weekend, hopefully it's, uh, it's going to be a good night. Any fainters? Uh, not that I know of, but um, if I had to pick one, it'd be Big Nella, the Tongan Thor. He's, uh, he's about 140 kilos, but um, I reckon he'd, he'd drop like feather. I'm going to attempt a sports question. Are there any concerns about off the Stadium for you guys? We've seen a couple of ACL matches. <laughs> nah, not at all. Um, I, 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 in terms of an AFL game after yeah, us. Yeah, and you know. Or, two, two heavy duty games on the grass. Yeah, the look, um, it's after a rugby game, it's it's uh, you know pretty worn out. Um, but in terms of playing after an AFL game, I don't see any issue with that. Um, do you know yet the date for your match? No, not at the moment. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's either Friday or Sunday, um, either before or after. So, you know, I'm just one of those players who will turn up whenever I have to turn up and. Um, I'll play whenever, it doesn't bother me. Is it difficult to get your head into the game, you know, with the, having it postponed uh, a very short notice? Um, well, last week was a bit different. Obviously, we, we flew from straight from New Zealand a couple of weeks ago now, and um, we were expecting to play this weekend, and clearly what didn't happen, um, and that's pretty disappointing. But um, I think in this climate, this, you know, the COVID era, you just got to got to adapt to anything, really. Like, schedule changes all the time in our industry, and. Um, I can't see that changing um, for the rest of the year. How difficult has it been to change the preparation? Because you've had a few days off now and obviously get back into it, but not knowing, I suppose, is the big thing for you guys. Yeah, I, I guess the uncertainty is the hardest thing to prepare for is, as you said, not knowing what's coming. Um, you know, are we playing, are we not playing? All that sort of stuff really weighs heavily on players. But at the end of the day, once the game's scheduled and, and we've got a, at least a week of preparation, we'll, we'll be fine. So when do you get back into it? Oh, we'll be training tomorrow, yeah. yeah. You've had, what, three, four days off? Yeah, we've had uh, the start of this week off. Um, we trained, trained last week, obviously, preparing. and um, It's been good, actually, getting around Perth and going for a few swims at the beautiful beaches here. It's been great. There's a lot of been said about the last two games, obviously, and, and where the improvements will come. Do you sit down as a group since you've been here and just discuss that? Oh yeah, we've we've obviously been pretty disappointed with how we played, um, especially in that set, the, the second game in Auckland. But um, for us as a, a, a group, and it's quite a new group, we, we're trying to really you know forge our identity and how we want to play. And I think we let ourselves down. 
to be brutally honest, in those first two games. So I was actually a member of the 2019 Wallabies who came here and, and played the All Blacks and we uh, got a good victory. So we're kind of we're going to you know, draw upon that and hopefully give the Perth fans something to cheer about. It was about that 20-minute period where yeah. you drop off. Is that something obviously you've got to change the position? Yeah, well, to play the All Blacks and win, you've got to play for 80 minutes. And, it's irrelevant which country you are. You you got to play well, and you got to take your opportunities when you get in. It's, you know, it's a bit of a cliche, but um, at the end of the day, you got to play for 80 minutes to win the game. Uh, yesterday, over one million West Australians have received their first vaccination. That's an important milestone. Another 620 odd thousand have received their second. So a total of 1.6 million uh, vaccinations have occurred in Western Australia. But we've got a way to go, uh, and the way through this pandemic will be to make sure that you get vaccinated. Uh, we've seen uh, the trauma, uh, the real risk to not only Australia but the world through this global pandemic. Uh, we've got to get in front of this. We cannot wait for infections to rise in Western Australia. We live in such a privileged part of the world. The only way that we can actually move our way through this is to get vaccinated. Um, I'm at Claremont here. It's great to see the Australian Wallaby team uh, getting their second Pfizer jab. Uh, they are leading by example, and it's tremendous to see uh, leading sports teams doing this as a real example that others should follow.